Good morning, everybody. Uh, we're working on the pig barn, or actually, I'm not working on the pig barn. I'm waiting for the concrete guys to show up so they can go ahead and finish up the pig barn. When me, Papa, and Lala were figuring out where we wanted all of the outbuildings and stuff like that, all of your pole barns, we decided to put one of the pole barns right here because there is a large hump in the yard. Thought process was is the water sheds off the roof and instead of running back up underneath, it brushes off to the side. Um, well, when we're wanting to put a concrete slab, that means that a lot of that dirt has to then be leveled before we put the pad or you're gonna have really thin parts and really thick parts. So we got a load of dirt over there um, yesterday they went ahead and by shovel, uh, by hand, um, leveled off the entire inside. And so, like I said, we're just waiting on them now to show up. And once they show up, they're going to go ahead and take some of that dirt, fill it in on this lower portion. And then after that, it's concrete time. And they're saying concrete should be in tomorrow morning. Today is just going to be a lot of moving dirt, leveling, and just getting it more or less prepped for the concrete tomorrow.
across the three degrees. So it's three inches total. Three inches total. So it's almost it's right at eight, eight inch per foot slope. <clears throat> He's sneaky. <laughs> He's already filming back here. This looks awesome, Dad. So we got a broom finish on it. It was a little bit more of a difficult job because uh, because we already had the the uh, posts in, and so we kind of had to kind of had to find a really experienced uh, concrete company to do this. Uh, and plus, Papa don't trust just anybody, so we uh, asked locally. Go local. Go local. Go local. Okay. So we asked locally. Uh, you know, who is the best concrete guy? And uh, we got a couple names. That's the one um, good but thing. But we got, but we got one more than anybody else. That's the one good thing Facebook's good for is recommendations. Everybody's got an opinion. So yeah. This was a good one. So when we got done with our with our questions on Facebook, we got this big bearded guy. <laughs> sexy that was bearded guy. Sexy bearded guy. So this was the. Uh, <laughs> This was the recommended contestant. So, what's your name and who you with? Jeremy King with Southern Concrete. Yeah, and that's your country or that's your company, correct? Yes, sir. That's my, that's my company. I know you had uh, it was you and one other guy out here doing this, yeah, and uh, between the two of you, uh, I heard you guys got a lot of concrete experience. How many years of experience? I have twenty six plus, and Joshua Roberts was the one helping me. He's got over pretty sure over sixteen years now too. Yeah, so that's and, that uh, is a ton that is what well, that's 40 plus years hmm. in concrete that's yeah, a never thought in, about that way. yeah i'm <laughs> telling you that's that's an insane amount of uh I charge more yeah you should <laughs> <laughs> what at all did you guys do on this pad well this one we uh we came in and shot some elevations so we had to if you walk around the slab you'll notice it goes almost from two inches above the yard here to what nine ten inches higher in the back so it has a even though the yard has a step down the grade we raised it up brought in a load of dirt filled it and to get a consistent four inches it only has three inches of slope from from front to back so that's an eighth inch per foot slope uh for any kind of drastic uh rain water or just to clean it out it helps get, right. shed the water off clean it out a lot better he described it to me as ada certified yes it was within code yeah absolutely. <laughs> so I've always, i always think about that stuff Been working in commercial for so many years and in residential you always gotta make sure nobody's gonna come out here and bust their butt with so many obstacles you guys still did an absolute phenomenal job and you can thank this man for all the posts he is i a gave him the option before we started <laughs> i said do you want me to finish the posts or 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 what? He said, "Just yeah, just finish them off." <laughs> he probably. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think he realized how many posts Papa's gonna put I in the ground. I four more corners. No, it it doesn't matter. It's it is what it is. Well, if you guys are local to Baker County, where else do you guys do? Uh, where do you guys uh, do concrete? In mostly right now, we stay busy in Baker County, but um, all North Florida. I mean. So Baker, Columbia, Baker, Nassau, Duval, Columbia, and Duval. Awesome. We're doing so. some projects right down the north side for a big builder here uh, that actually has a home base here now. Well, um, that's another contractor. Uh, if you doing houses and stuff, of uh, power construction. Okay. Is 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 a big builder that we do a lot of work for, but we do a lot of the other residential builders here too. You heard it for yourself. If you guys are local to Baker County or local to uh, just Northeast <laughs> Florida in general and are needing some uh some concrete uh give southern concrete a uh, a call nice nice guys um you know uh very responsive over the telev uh over the telephone um and you I got think... and you got to feel really good when you're all done and you get all done settling up and you tip the guy with a dozen eggs and some goat sauces, right. and he gets really excited. That's right. Yeah. That was almost worth the job. Almost worth the job. There you go. <laughs> We're signing off on this video. Um, this concrete, the only thing that it still needs left is uh, we're going to put a cross uh, down the middle and a cross down. We're going to break it into uh, quads. Um, that way to keep it from uh, keep it from cracking visibly. Um, 
But uh, thank you guys for watching this one. Um, we'll see you on the next one. Until next time, always treat others as you would like to be treated. Bye, guys.